Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas football here in Goliad, Texas with the head coach of the Tigers, 3-0 Tigers, Coach Bobby Nicholson after a 47-13 win over George West on a uh, Thursday night. Uh, congratulations on the win. Appreciate it. All right, uh, obviously you had a, a few few curveballs thrown at you this week. I mean, coming off a big win, an emotional win last week over Furio, uh, 35-0. You turn around this week, you, you, you change your schedule on, on, a, on a quick turnaround. Um, you had to play on Thursday night, which is a little out of your comfort zone. Um, were you a little worried that maybe there would be a little bit of a letdown your kids might be a little beat up from a physical game last week? Well, the only thing we were concerned about is it was about Tuesday before we finally started getting our legs underneath us. And, you know, we had a few not really injuries, but some bumps and bruises just because it was a physical ball game with George, with uh, Refurio. But that's what I felt like we played. We played slow tonight, the first half. And, and that's that's probably a testament to us, you know, not having our legs underneath us, but I'm not going to make any excuses. We can't play a, a first half like that, whether it's a big week or not a big week. We just, we just got to step up and play. And they reacted to what we told them at halftime and came out and played a lot better in the second half. I was going to say at halftime, it seemed like your, 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 your kids came out of like a different ball club in the second half. You started to play a little faster. Um, what was the message at halftime? Was it just play faster? Or did you guys make any actual adjustments? Because it looked like George West in the first half really did a nice job bottling you guys up and kind of controlling the tempo of the game. What was the message to your kids at halftime? Well, defensively, we were in a three-man front the first half and we in the second half we got in some four-man front to kind of control the line of scrimmage a little bit more on defense but bottom line is I told our kids that you know it's good to be tested it's you know when you test your character when you text your morale we had three unsportsmanlike conducts and penalties in the first half and we just can't we got to be disciplined and 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 I you know basically told them at halftime we're fixing to get tested right here and we're fixed to find out what kind of team you are which is good and they, they reacted to it well. I was going to say, not, this is what non districts for, right? You're, I mean, George West, it's a good ball club over there. Coach Cornegay's got a good team. Um, and, and you, you want to get tested to see how your, your kids can respond because, you know, come playoff time, you guys have been through some wars. That's what's going to happen, right? Yeah, and, you know, the whole bottom line is us staying healthy. And, you know, as you saw how many weapons we used tonight offensively, and, and that's the big part of it. But but we need the games like this. We don't we don't need every game to just be coming out smoking. And I hate to say that, but but I knew that it was a, in my gut that we would come out slow just because our feet were just now getting underneath us but they reacted to what we told them at halftime and that's a that's a huge testament to them they, they want to be a good team now uh, obviously you got a lot of playmakers uh, Don Tavian really had a nice uh, third quarter three long touchdowns there he had an interception uh, talk about him as a player and what, what makes him special well what makes him special is our other guys you know if Don Tavian has a big night then next week somebody else has to step up you know early in the game they were playing Don Tavian tight they were playing Jackson Taylor tight they were playing Chris Torres tight because those are receivers that hurt him last, last, last hurt Refurio last week but they were giving Justice some cushions so we were going to Justice early but throughout a game once one of them starts hurting the other one's going to open up and we had a mismatch with with Dontavian with that uh, corner that was on him so we just took advantage of it all right now looking ahead you, you got a couple more uh think two more non-district games of memory serves me correct then you guys go into one of the toughest districts in the state um would have been nice to get out there and scout those guys tonight it looks like everyone's playing on Thursday how do you adjust your schedule uh this week and then going forward into next week well one thing about playing on a Thursday night is we get a little bit we get a few more days we get a long weekend at this point in the season when we played really three physical ball games I mean even Columbus was physical and then coming off of last week with the Furio and then this was a battle for two and a half quarters this was a battle and uh, so basically a longer weekend will, will really really help us out but you know it's going to be like this all year and and when you when you've got the clout that we have and doing what we're doing everybody's going to play their best game against you and I got to get them to understand that. Shout out to your maintenance crew as well. They did a great job your field. I mean, you took a lot of rain, but your field was in really good shape today. You got a good crew over there. Oh yeah, we can't we got the best maintenance crew in the nation. I promise you that. They do a good job. Coach, appreciate the hospitality. Enjoy the win and enjoy the long weekend. Get you get you some rest and watch a little college football this weekend. Yes, sir. Thanks to Texas football. Appreciate it. Thank you.